this is going to be a cosplay get ready with me video. We'll be going through our makeup routines for Rapunzel and Eugene from Tangled, Tangled the series specifically, season two outfits. Not that that matters for makeup, I guess, but I don't know. So I guess we can get started. Okay. So first for me is primer. This is the one that I use, the ELF or ELF, I don't really know what it's supposed to be, um, blemish control face primer. For this one, I just like put it on my hands and like rub it in like it was lotion or something. I don't know if that's what you're supposed to do, but that's what I do. Um, I just want to say I am not the best person at makeup and <laughs> I don't know anything about anything. So you're probably going to watch this and be like, why is she doing that? <laughs> but whatever. Uh, I also don't know anything about like the best products or brands, but yeah. uh, my first thing that I do is just foundation, I guess. So I just use like liquid just get right to foundation. it. Yeah. Well, foundation, yeah. Foundation. Foundation's my next one, so I'm going to start that too. I use the Too Faced Born This Way. It's like too, the glare is too extreme. Mm -hmm. Anyway, um, in ivory, which is probably too light for me and I bought the wrong one, but I'm going to apply with my beauty blender. See, I just use these basic ass like Walmart sponges. <laughs> I also put it on my hand and then dab it. Oh, I just go right on the sponge. <laughs> I watch makeup tutorials and that's what they said to do. So I don't know if that's real, but so yeah, I also like patting it on. Yeah, I sometimes do that. Sometimes I'm just like wipe because <laughs> I'm a heathen. So <laughs> don't take advice from me. <laughs> I used to use those kind of sponges, but um, I got these blue blue. I got these beauty blenders with this like whole uh, thing, this whole carrying case makeup brush set that I got on Amazon, which I highly recommend. It's only $20 um, and I thought it was a really good deal. Um, so yeah, I have them now and I actually really like using them because of the pointiness. I can really get in here, my eye area, my nose area. So for me, I also put a lot of concealer because I have really bad... Um, eye circles, under eye circles, and also like the tops of my eyes are really like veiny. So I like Neutrogena. This is the concealer I use on my eyes. It is Neutrogena Healthy Skin Brightening Eye Perfector. So this is what it looks like. It's kind of like a brush and then you like twist this and the product comes out like that. And then just kind of like paint it on. So I go like all the way under here, make the triangle, and then I also put it on my top lid. So this is kind of like my eye primer as well. I guess next I just kind of powder on powder foundation just to set it. Uh, yeah, I guess. I don't know. I don't know what the reason is. <laughs> so I also have another concealer that is also Neutrogena. This oh, skin clearing blemish concealer. It's really hard to read. This one, this one has like the little foot, and again, you like twist it, and it comes out. This one I just use for like spots that I think need more. So if I have any acne, um, I will like put it, dab it on there. I also like to let the concealer like sit for a minute before I blend it out to just make it more. I don't know if that's a thing. I've seen that in a tutorial too. But anyway, I'll, I'll let it sit for a minute. So I'm going to pause that and I'm going to do eyebrows. You know, she has brown eyebrows. So this one has a smaller tip. So since she's a girl, I'll use the more like delicate one because I'm not going to do thick eyebrows. I'm just going to go over my regular eyebrows and just fill them in a bit. So this is the L'Oreal Brow Stylist Definer Ultra Fine Tip Shaping Pencil in Light Brunette. So, yeah, it's just a really small pencil tip. So I'm just gonna go in and just do my eyebrows like I would normally. All right, so the next thing that I'm doing, since I'm doing a male character today, um, my next thing is contouring, and I just use eyeshadow because I'm ratchet, I guess. I don't know what other <laughs> people use. Um, but I usually use this dark, 
not the super dark one, this like light brown one here for that. And I just like go, oh god, that's way too much. I just go like down the cheekbones. That's way too much, so let me get rid of that. But <laughs> um, like go here. If I put too much, sometimes I go to like the lighter one and go over top of it to try to like balance it out, but I should probably just like put to the foundation too. And meanwhile, I'm just blending out the um, concealer that I put around my eyes with the same sponge. Um, so I do the cheekbones and then I do like under the jaw here. And then I do like this part of the forehead, I guess, right here, and then on the nose, like up into the eyes. <laughs> Such a terrible descriptions, but oh. like the edges of the nose, and then like on the eye, like that. You can see what I'm doing. Okay, so I guess next for me is gonna be eyeliner. Yeah, I guess I guess I'll do eyeliner first. And then eyelashes. I don't know if that's what you're supposed to do, but that's what I'm gonna do. Oh, so this is my eyeliner. It's a natural Pacifica Natural Minerals. Oh lord, the, the light. <laughs> Probably can't see it. But anyway, so it's just like a pencil. I like using just the pencils because, I don't know, I just find it easier to like control. I still can't control it that well, but we'll get to that step in a second. The same, but it's similar, right? That's good enough. Okay. <laughs> so um, now, what are you doing next? Um, well, I guess normally I would be doing eyebrows next, but for Flynn, his hair is brown, so I don't, I'm not going to do anything to my eyebrows. And since my eyebrows are naturally like thicker, I don't do anything to them ever. Um, but if I were doing a different hair, colored hair character, what I do use is. Like if I'm going to a lighter color, I, ha I put like white on it first and then do the color, like if I'm going blonde, like yesterday. But if I'm doing like a red or a blue, I don't put the white on, I just put the blue or the red, like either like these type of pencils that I guess are eyeliner pencils, or um, I have this like, it's like face paint <laughs> from like eight years ago. But it's like a good blue, um, and it works really well. And this is also the white that I use, white face paint for like to put on top, um, because I do also have these this white like mix. Oh my god, you can't see that. Yeah, I know. It's um, white <laughs> mix like pencil uh, that you can draw it on. But this is like expensive, so like I have one, but. I don't know, like, this works just as well, I think, and I got this at Party City for, like, cheap, so be ratchet like me, and, uh, use face paint to do your eyebrows. <laughs> um, so instead of that, I'm not gonna do that, I'm gonna do eyeliner, I guess. So just okay. on the top for him. So I have this Belk Beauty palette that I just got at Belk, which is a department store. Um, so it has all these different eyeshadows in it. So what I'm gonna do now is I'm gonna go in with black and this little this little pointy brush and just go over the eyeliner to just kind of blur it out a little bit. Um, and now there's like these two blacks down here. If I was doing a male character, I would use the plain black, but for girls, I always use the sparkly. Like basically if I'm doing a female character, everything is sparkly. Like I use all the sparkles. <laughs> so I'm just gonna go in with that. So this is the eyeliner that I use. It's like a little bottle, um, and it's like liquid, I guess. So it's, it's kind of like a little brush. I'm having a problem that I paint here. on. What is going on? And since this is like liquid, I have to like go like <laughs> this and not move my face for like a few minutes, so it doesn't mess it up and it always goes on top anyway so all right so I guess next for me is his beard 
I use this like dark foundation. Um, it's kind of like different from what I do with Airborne Spirit because for his, I used this. Um, I think it's like a. It's either like a contour palette or just like a foundation palette that's like. Um, it's like liquidy. Well, it's not. Li it's like wet. It's not powder, basically. Um, and I really liked using that for Aragorn, just because, I don't know, it was, it's easier to get, like, more coverage for him. Um, so you can see, like, the darkest one is, like, almost gone. I haven't used any of these others. Um, but for Flynn, I just used this instead, because I wanted to save that one for Aragorn, basically. Um, so I'm gonna use this stubble brush, or stubble sponge, I guess. Um, which lets you get the like, uh, you can either like pat it to do like stubble, which is what I do with Aragorn, or for Flynn, I kind of like rub it to make it look like hair fibers, I guess. Um, so I'm gonna put a little bit of it on like a napkin and then like blot it in. Do that. So what I did, what I did just now, um, I put a little bit of this just sparkly-ish gold color on my eyelids and then I added a little bit of this pinky color just a little bit not too much and then I also like to go in with this brush and do a little bit of lightness in the corners of my eyes so you can see this is the color I always use this like white sparkly one right here so I'm just gonna go right here I'm gonna move on to eyelashes. I have these eyelashes that I bought in Japan. I have the little clippy thingy and then just generic eyelash glue. The last thing I do for boys is <laughs> is this um not that this says anything on it it's lipstick that's like pale-ish um which i never used to do but you know now i do it if i remember <laughs> see i never used to use this stuff because i was like men still have red lips like what do you mean <laughs> But I don't know, I guess they're not as, like, obvious. When you're taking photos, it's like, you don't want, you want to look as least feminine as possible, yeah. right? I guess I'll put some mascara on the bottom. So this is the Majilica, Majorica, Majorica, Majorica Lash Expander Liquid Extender EX that I got in Japan. So if I was not doing eyelashes, I would just be using this. But usually for cute girls, I will use the eyelashes. So then the real true last step is this setting spray, which I literally never use because I always forget. And I'm always like, it doesn't really matter if it's not like intense for me. So I really only use it for like air horn and this. Like if it's like stuff that's everywhere that I don't want to like mess up. Um, so really I like hardly ever actually use it, but you probably should so okay So I'm gonna do highlighter. I really need to buy like a highlighter palette because this is the one I've been using It came in like a Halloween thing and it's just like this little stick, but it started to like fall apart um, But I will do highlighter on my cheek area right here next to my eye on my nose and on the other side Just a subtle bit of sparkle there. And then I have blush. So this is the pencil, uh, the pencil, the, the brush. The brush that I use for blush, and this thing has blush inside, so it opens up. And there's all sorts of things in there. So I have all these different kind of blushes. Let me see, I have a picture of her pulled up. So it's kind of like a peachy color, which I don't really have. So I'm just gonna go with my regular 
like the lightest pink is the one that I usually use, this one here. So we're just gonna go, and then she has, just has it kind of like here. So I'm just gonna, well maybe I should have done freckles first, oh well. I'm just gonna pat it along there. Put a little bit on my nose. Okay, and then she also has freckles. So I watched a tutorial and the person used like a liquid, like I don't remember if they were, I think they used a liquid eyeliner, but this is an eyebrow. Tattoo Studio Brow Tint Pen. So this is what it looks like. It's like a little brush thing. So I'm just gonna like dot it on. And what they did in the tutorial was like bought, put some on and then go like this to kind of like repeat them. And so the last step is gonna be lipstick. Her lips are kind of like orangey color. These are all lips up here, this part. So I'm gonna go for this one. And these things I just put on with my hand. Like I just take my finger and rub it on. Put my wig on. Why not? Now I also use setting spray, um, which the kind that I use is. Oh, actually, I threw it out. Okay, so it was, it's like the Urban Decay, I think. Um, but I'm out of it. So Becky, can I borrow yours again? Sure. Thanks, friend. So anyway, this is not the one I usually use, but same difference. So just borrow Becky's. And I do use it every time because I want everything to stay in place. Okay, so I guess we're done with makeup. You're just, just getting dressed, well, but um, <laughs> anyway, that was kind of not great. But I mean, we're not professionals. No, <laughs> but it's just you know another way to do it. You don't have to be fancy. Yeah, exactly. You don't have to no, we just want to show like what we do to get ready for these particular characters or in general. So. Yeah, now it's time to finish getting dressed and go to our shoot. Yeah. All right. Thanks for watching.